Yo, what's going on guys? It's King Tuds Pro and welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create keyframe beats in Premiere Pro. I know I did a similar, almost an exact tutorial with Final Cut Pro 10. However, I want to focus in Premiere Pro because I know a lot of PC users want to know how to do this in their PC version of it. And of course, Premiere Pro is available for Mac as well. However, I'm going to be focusing on the Windows side of things, even though it's the same thing. Now, this video is sponsored by Skillshare, and I want to give them a special thanks for making this video possible. If you don't know what Skillshare is, Skillshare is a free website where you can expand your knowledge across different platforms, whether it be film, graphic design, drawing, art, gaming, and even music. Skillshare has it all, and they even have a great community where they can help you with courses that you are enrolled in, and they even offer 13,000 and more classes online. They offer a premium membership for $10 a month. However, you guys can get a two-month free trial, and if you sign up and use the coupon code in the description of this video, you will need to use a credit card, but you won't be charged, and you can cancel at any time. Once you sign up, you can start enrolling in classes that you like and start learning Adobe Premiere Pro, Photoshop, and even Final Cut Pro 10. So check it out. Link is in the description. I'm going to take them way back like Nintendo. Put the whole city on the map, spitting facts like, uh. No, I come with the riddles. And if you hopping on the track, then you getting belittled. I never scribble with the rest of mine. Leave them in cripple. All I fuck with is dimes. Why you why your girl always got five on it check up in the mirror all i really see is my opponent really dm do music watch him slide on it all the mad shots girl that booty got some lies on it hold on let me let the beat breathe for a little bit <sighs> now i went ahead and muted the audio so you guys aren't interrupted with this however i did use Devonte field's new video in a way uh i will leave his link in the description of this video so you guys can watch all of it with that aside i'm gonna show you guys how to do those keyframed beats so whenever a beat hits the screen kind of zooms in and zooms out you want to go ahead and zoom in onto the timeline here and we want to zoom in quite a bit but not too much so something like this would be good now if you don't have this audio track uh, feature all you got to do is just double click right here and that will kind of pop out the little soundtrack or the waveform for the audio now I did go through this tutorial or this kind of guide or class uh, that I needed help in especially in the audio and keyframe section he does go through some different parts in the video in his course it's called cut it out film editing with Adobe Premiere Pro it's a premium class now we'll leave this link or this course in the description of this video if you guys want to follow along with his course and uh, to kind of gain knowledge more in Premiere Pro you guys can do this of course in Final Cut Pro 10 but uh, I use this tutorial so I know what I needed to work on and stuff. Now that did come in handy with what I'm gonna be, you know, doing in the tutorial side. I would highly suggest you guys check this course out. This has really helped me a lot. Uh, so link will be in the description. But uh, you wanna go ahead and listen to it, pay attention to it. Whenever you hear a bass or a beat drop, that's where you wanna add your keyframe. So let me go ahead and push play. So it looks like right here is where the beat will drop. So let me go ahead and zoom in so you guys can really see that. So right here is where the drop is going to happen. So it's very simple. Go ahead and click on the video. Go to the video effects right here. Currently, it's going to be set like this, okay? And that's what we want. So now that we have this, we want to go ahead and add our, our first keyframe. So click this little button right here, or this little 100% um, there. And type in 106 or 108 or whatever you guys want. Just keep it between 100 and 110. And then press enter. Now, we didn't add a keyframe yet. So... We want to go ahead and add our keyframe first, so click the little clock uh, icon. Now we added our first keyframe. So we want to go ahead and move over two frames to the left or one frame to the left. So click this little button here and it says step back one frame to the left or step forward to, the, uh, to one frame to the right. So we want to go ahead and go one frame to the left and you can see that it's still at 106%. We want to click on that and bring it back to 100%. So what that will do is it will just go ahead and play and then it will zoom in into the video and then we want to go ahead and go one frame over and under the scale again type in 100. So now we have something like this. But it's still too simple, it's still too plain. So we want to go ahead and do zoom in right here. So click this and drag it inwards. To zoom into the uh, keyframes 
And right now they're linear. So if you right click on the keyframes, you have a couple of options. You have the linear, which is just standard, uh, you know, diagonally. We have a Bezier curve, which is a more curved, smooth transition. And we have Auto Bezier and Continuous Bezier. I think that's how you call it. I'm not sure. Don't criticize me. Okay. And we have Hold. What we want to go ahead and do is add the Ease In because that's where it's going to ease in first. It's the first keyframe. We want to keep the middle one how it is. And this one, we want to go ahead and ease out. Okay. So now we have something that's a little bit more smooth. See that? So that's what we want. And now you don't have to do this whole thing over and over again. This is why we have the copy and paste option, of course. So right click on the keyframes once they're highlighted. Go to copy and go onto your timeline whenever you see another uh, drop. Just copy and paste it. So. So right here is another one. So you want to go ahead and move over to where you have your time head at. Press Command V or Control V uh, on your PC and go ahead and highlight the keyframes and drag this so that the diamond kind of looking thing is right in the middle of the time head and that is right where the beat will hit. So now if we push play, this is what we have. And then you just do that over and over and over again. So now if I go ahead and push play from the beginning, this is what we have. Now, if you want to go ahead and move around your keyframes, it's very simple. Let me go ahead and mute the audio because we won't need that anymore. You want to go ahead and go back to the keyframes. Click anywhere, wherever this is. So once you guys are zoomed in here, I guess Adobe Premiere Pro was being weird and it didn't want me to zoom in. But once you are zoomed in to see each of the keyframes individually, you want to go ahead and click on them and move them around. So if you want to move this one, just click and drag that and you can move it to wherever you want, maybe to a specific time head. You guys can do that, move it like two frames over. And the more keyframes you move it apart, the smoother and the slower the uh, effect will be. So if I push play, see that? So it's a little bit more smooth. However, that's not something that I want. Like if I go ahead and push play, this is what we have. See that? The effect doesn't really, like it's not that impressive. So if that makes any sense. But um, I mean, you just want to go ahead and copy and paste them over and over again whenever you hear a drop or a uh, beat. So like I said, guys, be sure to visit Skillshare. Give it a try. Uh, you will learn a lot from this website, especially in the courses section and everything that they will teach you. They go step by step. It's really easy. Link will be in the description along with the coupon code. So be sure to check it out, and I will catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.